Singapore's Prime Minister has acknowledged shortcomings in the government's COVID-19 response. At the same time, Lee Sen Lung says the country has done well, including having one of the lowest mortality rates in the world. In a major speech in Parliament, Mr Lee says that, on hindsight, the government would have done some things differently. Well, for example, he says all Singaporeans, and not just some, who arrived home from abroad in March should have been quarantined. The recommendation to wear masks should have been sooner and more aggressive measures could have been taken at the migrant worker dormitories. All this is wisdom after the fact. We must learn from these errors and do better the next time. But in the fog of war, it's not possible always to make the perfect decisions. Yet we have to decide and move. We cannot afford to wait. The key is to watch things closely learn from experience and adapt our responses promptly as new information emerges and as the situation changes. As the pandemic raged on, relief schemes were deployed as emergency measures to help companies and workers. And these include wage subsidies and support for self-employed people. But Mr Lee cautions these interim schemes cannot continue indefinitely. In the new normal, we fully expect more economic uncertainty and turbulence. And the longer term trends of an aging population and rising healthcare costs remain unchanged. So we will certainly need to strengthen social support for our people during and after their working lives. How will we do this? Several ideas have been raised, including in this house, in this debate. The government is not ideologically opposed to any proposed solution. Our approach has always been pragmatic and empirical. Make the best use of our resources to meet the needs of different groups in our society in a targeted manner. Because if we help everyone equally, then we are not giving more help to those who need it most. Mr Lee has also weighed in on the foreign worker and work pass policies that have been debated in Parliament this week. He says, while the issue of fairness is taken very seriously, Singapore must not give the impression that it is not welcoming of foreigners. Mr Lee says this is especially crucial at a time when some firms have expressed interest in investing in Singapore, even during the downturn. The government will always be on the side of Singaporeans. What is the point of creating jobs for foreigners if it doesn't benefit Singaporeans? Why would we want to do that? Ultimately, our aim is to grow the economy, create good jobs for Singaporeans, and raise our standards of living. Foreign workers and work pass holders help us to achieve this. So even as we adjust our work pass policies, we must be careful not to give the wrong impression that we are now closing up and no longer welcoming foreigners. Such a reputation would do us great harm. Mr Lee has also promised that the government will take an open and constructive approach, even as there is now more opposition presence in Parliament. He expects the tone of debate to shift and says ministers and MPs from the ruling PAP party will have to raise their game and be prepared for more substantive debates. But it is a major issue, but if it is a major issue concerning the fundamental interests of the country, he says the government will have to decide and cannot wait passively for a consensus to be reached. Having been elected to govern, we must govern. It is the government's duty to make such decisions and to be accountable for the people, to the people, for them. So discussion is fine, but discussion must lead to action. And finally, if it's an important issue, and we are not yet entirely at item, at one, the government has to decide we sh shall go. And in the end, we put it to the voters. Voters have to decide, do they support this or they want something different? That's on issues. But politics is not only about issues, but also about power. And if the issue is not policies and priorities, but a challenge to the government's fitness to govern, then the government will have to stand up and defend itself vigorously. 
it must put down the challenge and prove that it deserves to be the government. Because otherwise, it must step aside and let another team take over. On the uniqueness of how politics and government work in Singapore, Mr Lee has stressed that recruiting the best people has helped to maintain the quality of the public service and political leadership. He says this quality, coupled with the trust and support of Singaporeans, has allowed the government to deal with problems rationally, comprehensively and effectively. It has also enabled the government to make long-term plans. But he questions if this focus on the long term can continue if there were more diversity and contestation. At what point does a vote for a strong opposition become a vote for a different government? Is it really true that one day if there's a change of government, a new party can run Singapore equally well because we have such a good public service, as Mr Pritam Singh suggested on Monday? It's like saying you have the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, anybody can be the conductor. These questions have no easy answers. In the nature of politics and of human societies, things can and do go wrong. Each successive generation of Singaporeans has to keep on doing its best to keep the system working right. The PAP feels acutely its special responsibility to keep on doing its best for Singapore and keep Singapore working in this unique way. That is our sacred mission.